All right, eighth graders, this is to help you with question four on CR 14. It says to simplify, and then you have two numbers written in scientific notation joined by multiplication. So they're just reminding you about multiplying two numbers in scientific notation. Okay, your first step is to multiply the first factors. So I have to multiply 4.12 times 6. And I don't have a calculator in front of me, so I'll just long multiply 4.12 times 6. I know 4 times 6 is 24, so my final answer is going to be somewhere around 24 here. 6 times 2 is 12. Put down a 2, carry a 1. 6 times 1 is 6, and 1 more is 7. 6 times 4 is 24. So this is obviously 24.72. Move that decimal point over two places, so in the final answer, we move it over two places. All right, when multiplying with the same base, you keep the base, add the exponents. When you multiply with the same base, in this case, our base happens to be a 10, keep the base. and add the exponents. So then we have, if you have 10 to the third times 10 to the negative 2, we're going to keep our base of 10 and we're going to add our exponents, 3 plus negative 2. 3 plus negative 2 is 1, so that's 10 to the first power. So now in science, well, we're not yet in scientific notation, but if I want to write my answer, it would be 24.72, once I multiplied my first factors together, times, and then we get 10 to the first when we put our powers of 10 together. The issue is this is not in scientific notation, and I'm assuming your teachers want the final answer in scientific notation. So we think about our good friend Lars, left, add, right, subtract. If I have to move this decimal point one over to the left, that means I have to add one to my exponent on the 10, left, add. So I just have to add one here. So it becomes 2.472 times 10 to the second power. There you have it. That's how we work that problem out. I hope that helps.